Some lawmakers are pushing to change what's considered legally impaired in North Carolina. There's a bill seeking to lower the state's legal blood alcohol content level for driving from 0.08 to 0.05. As WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker reports, some say the change would make a big difference on the roads. The recipe for a good night out might end with a drink in your hand. But we're taught to not drink and drive. However, if you do and your BAC blood alcohol content level is 0.08 and above, according to state law, you are impaired and should not be driving. I personally think that, that 0.08, is, 0.08 is, a, is a good standard. But a push by lawmakers is working to shake up the standard. The problem is I think people think that at 0.075 you're good to drive. House Bill 148 aims to lower the legal limit from 0.08 to 0.05. It's saving lives. Bill sponsor Representative Mike Clampett says for him, this push is personal. He's a retired Charlotte fire captain who has seen his share of alcohol-related crashes. That's somebody's child, grandchild, uh, uh, daughter, niece, uh, a friend in school. Representative Clampett wants to reduce the risks on the road. This is something that would save lives. The research is clear. The same goal for the organization Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Stephen Burrett with the organization saying it supports the legislation. It has seen the success it's had in different areas. To some, it seems like a big change until you realize that, again, Utah has already done it. Many countries in Europe have already done it. According to data by NCDOT, in 2021, there were 407 deaths from alcohol-related crashes. But there's still mixed opinion from people saying there's a lot more to consider. The other thing that are factors in this, though, is your sex. Dr. James Reed with Novant Health saying it's important to remember blood alcohol content is not apples to apples for everyone. A good example is size. He says a six foot two male like me can drink a lot more to reach that point of weight than someone a lot smaller. It also comes down to how often you drink. A lot of people at 0 0.05, I think, would be absolutely fine to, to operate a vehicle. So someone could receive a driving while impaired charge after drinking just one beer. Kathy Allen, director of Carolina Services, a substance abuse treatment center, says, while we understand what this number means, there's a lack of education behind it. I believe what we need to do is spend more time and energy in educating people what is an impaired driver. <laughs> So while some push this forward, others say it seems this recipe is still a little muddled. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.